Palau is known as one of the premier diving destinations in the world. We want to maintain that image and the actual experience that our visitors get to partake in. We have a tagline that says, Pristine Paradise Palau. With this rich culture, we wanted the visitors to actually experience what that means as a resident and as a local. My name is uh, Kevin Mesabalu, and I've been uh, the director for the Bureau of Tourism for two years uh, here at the Republic of Palau. Palauans are so passionate about conservation. We're trying to do our part, even though Palau as a nation does not have that big of a carbon footprint. Why can't we set an example for the rest of the world to follow? The Palau Pledge, it's the voice of our children asking you as a traveler visiting our home to be mindful, to be more respectful, to treat it as a place that uh, you consider your home as well. You know, you can't always guide people to think a certain way. But you can definitely take actions to make people think and second guess why they want to travel and how they want their experience to become. In 2009, Palau took the step to become the world's first national shark sanctuary. We now know that because of that effort, our reefs are more resilient, they're more productive, and we offer more of a pristine environment for our divers and our tourists to come enjoy our waters. When they come into Palau, they sign the Palau Pledge, which means they are mindful travelers. And we continue that mindset to where before you leave, you have the option to offset your trip. You come to Palau, there's more above water than underwater. And so we hope that initiatives like the Shark Sanctuary, Carbon Neutral Destination, the Palau Pledge, really hammers home the point that this is who we are as a people. These are things we want you to be mindful of. And so if you're a curious traveler, you'll, you'll automatically start thinking, why are they doing this uh, differently? Because you want to take our culture and pass it on to our visitors. <laughs>